Smartphones are devices that connect people together, entertain us and help us out with everyday tasks. But what impact do our smartphones have on our health and well-being? There is an abundance of research that warns of the negative consequences of smartphone use. Much of this focuses on the potential damage smartphone screen time could be having on our mental and physical health. However, there is a growing acknowledgement that the majority of research that links smartphone screen time to negative health consequences are themselves problematic due to the way in which they measure smartphone use. Specifically, many studies do not measure actual smartphone use, but rather ask people to guess how long they spend on their phones, or ask people to rate how problematic they believe their smartphone use to be. Instead, we carried out two studies that directly measured the time people spent on their smartphones during a week-long period. We did this by using apps installed on people's devices that directly logged their individual smartphone interactions. The first study recruited 46 Android users and usage was logged using an app that our lab developed. We then upscaled the study to a second sample of 199 iPhone users and captured their daily usage by the Apple Screen Time application. We found that a person's average daily smartphone screen time and pickups did not predict anxiety, depression or stress symptoms with any notable effects. Also, those who did exceed the clinical cutoff points for both general anxiety and major depressive disorder did not use their phones in larger amounts than those who scored below the standard threshold. We also considered whether our findings would change if smartphone use was measured differently and in ways that are very common in pre-existing research. To do this, we asked people to fill in a rating scale which asked them how problematic they perceived their smartphone use to be. We also asked people to provide estimates of their phone use. We found across both studies that scores from problematic use rating scales produce larger links with mental health when compared with estimates or direct logs. In some cases, the strength of the relationship was four times the size of that found with direct logs. As a result, it is important to consider actual phone use separately from people's concerns and worries about their smartphone use. This is because the former doesn't show any strong relationships with mental health. However, the latter does. Alarmingly, many studies confuse these problematic use rating scales as a measure of smartphone use, and conclusions from this misconception dominate much of our scientific understanding. Overall, this can incorrectly promote the idea that increased smartphone screen time is a public health crisis. However, our results show that even if concerns about smartphone use are widespread, that getting people to engage in digital detoxes that limit overall smartphone screen time are unlikely to have any mental health benefits.